हेलो एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो मे गोइंग टू डिस्कस जे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर शिफ्ट वन ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन जनवरी पेपर एंड एज एक्सपेक्टेड दिस पेपर इज क्वाइट ईजी सो लेट इज क्विकली डिस्कस दैट सो आई हैव रिसीव अराउंड सिक्सटीन टू सेवेंटीन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम माई स्टूडेंट सो लेट इज सी वट आर द क्वेश्चन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ पार्टिकल इज अंडर गोइंग सिंपल हारमोनिक मोशन विद एन एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ फोर सेंटीमीटर मैक्सिमम वेलॉसिटी इज गिवन एज टेन सेंटीमीटर्स पर सेकेंड फाइन द पोजिशन वैन द स्पीड इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स पर सेकेंड वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन सो एम्पलीट्यूड इज गिवन विच इज फोर सेंटीमीटर एंड वी मैक्स इज गिवन एज टेन सेंटीमीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो एंड वी नीड टू फाइन द पोजिशन वैन द स्पीड इज गिवन सो वी हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मुला वी इज इक्वल्स टू रूट ऑफ ए स्क्वायर माइनस x square times omega right and we can find omega by using v max formula which is a omega so we can say omega will be 10 by 4 so it comes out to be 2.5 so v can be written as 2.5 times amplitude uh, is 4 and we have to find the value of x and v is given as 10 uh, sorry 5 so v is given as 5 now from here i can say this will become 2 so uh, 16 minus x is equals to 4 so x will be x square will be 12 so x comes out to be root of 12 so it can be plus root 12 or minus root 12 so according to there will be options in the question right so now that is the next question a block of mass 1000 kg moving with 6 meters per second on a smooth surface so there is a smooth surface and there is a block of 1000 kg which is moving with a speed of 6 meters per second a block of mass 200 kg is gently placed over it so we have placed a block gently over this block and its mass is 200 kilograms find the common velocity a straight forward question of conservation of linear momentum so in the horizontal direction if i consider this these two uh, blocks as my system there is no external force acting in the horizontal direction so we can conserve momentum in the horizontal direction so initial momentum of the system will be 1000 times 6 and the final momentum will be 200 plus 1000 Times v, where v is the common velocity. So this will be six thousand divided by twelve, twelve hundred, and from here we can find it comes out to be five meters per second. Again, very simple question. Next, resistance of a length uh, l is cut in. Uh, okay, right. So we have to find a resistance of a length l is cut into five parts, and those parts are put in parallel. Okay, right. So let me reframe the question. So resistance of a l length of wire is given to us. Let us say that is R, and we have to find the new resistance when we have connected these five parts in parallel. So we know that if there is a wire of length l, if I cut this length into five parts. in that case the resistance is directly proportional to the length in case of a uniform wire so this will become r by 5 this will become r by 5 right so we have connected these r by 5 resistors in parallel so it will be r by 5 divided by 5 so it will be r by 25 so that should be the answer right now let us see the next question we have given a uh, electric field Which uh, we have given electric field uh, EM wave, which is two hundred sine one point five into ten raised to the power minus seven x minus t, and we have to find the intensity. Again, straightforward question based on the formula. So we know that intensity in case of electromagnetic radiation is given by half epsilon naught e naught square times c, where ep e naught is given to us. So half and epsilon naught is eight point eight. 5 into 10 raised to power minus 12 and e note is given as 200 and c is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 by simplifying this we'll get the answer again straight forward question based on the formula next four identical masses uh, each having mass 1 kg are placed at the vertices of a square of side 2 meter find the moment of inertia about an axis passing through one of the mass and perpendicular to the plane of the square okay right so we have given four masses at the vertices of a square each each having mass 1 kg and we need to find the moment of inertia about an axis which is passing through one of the mass and normal to the plane of the figure so the contribution of this mass 1 will be zero because the, uh, this mass lies on the axis now let us say this is mass 2 this is 3 and 4 
टू एंड थ्री आर इक्वी डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम द एक्सेस दैट इज नथिंग बट टू मीटर्स एंड द मास थ्री इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ टू रूट टू राइट इट इज लाइक इट इज ऑन दायमेट्रिकली ऑपोजिट एंड सो द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया विल बी वन इंटू टू स्क्वेर प्लस वन टाइम्स टू स्क्वेर प्लस वन टाइम्स टू रूट टू स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी फोर प्लस फोर प्लस फोर टाइम्स टू सो दैट विल बी एट प्लस एट दैट विल बी सिक्सटीन किलोग्राम पर सिक्स नॉट किलोग्राम पर इट इज किलोग्राम मीटर स्क्वायर सो दैट इज द आंसर अगेन अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया एवरेज काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ मोनोटोमिक गैस मॉलिक्यूल इज गिवन बाय दिस पॉइंट फोर वन फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ड फाइन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द गैस सो वी नो दैट एवरेज काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज गिवन बाय थ्री बाय टू के बी टी and average kinetic energy is 0.414 electron volt is given to us 3 by 2 kbt and we have to find the value of temperature so 0.414 times 1.6 into 10 raised for minus 19 i have converted uh, energy into joules right so now multiply this with 2 by 3 and divide by the boltzmann constant which is 1.38 into 10 raised to power minus 23 now from this we can find the temperature again a very straightforward question now let us see this question is a bit tricky or not a tricky but uh, you can say a moderate level difficulty so there is a ring having a charge 2 pi coulomb distributed uniformly a point charge 13 micro coulomb is placed at center find the tension in the ring okay but we have done similar question in the class so we have given charge which is uniformly distributed over this ring and the charge is 2 pi let me call it as 2 uh, q that is 2 pi coulomb and we need to find the tension so in such questions and the, we have placed a charge of 13 micro coulomb at the center in such questions what we going to do we'll take a small element of the ring so i'm taking a small element of length let us this element substitutes an angle 2 theta at the center and the length of this element will be r d uh, you can say 2 theta right so that is the length now due to this 13 micro coulomb charge there will be a coulomb repulsion on the charge on this element so the coulomb repulsion will be in the upward direction and that will be k 13 micro coulomb times the charge on this element divided by the distance square of the distance between them and there will be a tension force which is acting like this now this tension force will be having two components one will be horizontal other will be vertical so this angle will be theta this angle is again theta so this is theta so we can say this will be t sin theta and this component is again t sin theta the cos theta component will get cancelled out so we don't have to worry about that so we can, we can clearly see that for the equilibrium of this element 2 t sin theta should balance the coulomb repulsion which is k 13 micro times dq and dq is nothing but a uh, linear charge density which is 2 pi divided by the circumference which is 2 pi r multiplied with the length that is r 2 theta divided by r square now here uh and and since theta is very small i have taken theta, theta to be very small so i can write sin theta is theta so this theta will get eliminated so this r will get eliminated so this is 2 pi will get eliminated so we have to so from here we can find the tension which is k by 2 times 13 micro times 2 divided by r square so this is 9 into 10 raised per 9 by 2 into 26 micro by r square so i think r must be given in the question so if you know the value of r we can find the tension so that is the approach so i hope this uh, question is clear to you and again it's not that difficult but i would say if i compare this question with the other question this is relatively uh, difficult as compared to other questions next question a point charge q is placed at origin find the potential difference between p and q okay so we have given a charge q so let us say this is the cartesian coordinate uh, plane 
this is x axis this is y axis and i have placed a charge q and there are two points uh, one point a uh, p point is root 3 by 3 root 3 comma 3 and q is q point is somewhere here which is root 6 comma 0 so it is quite a straightforward question so the potential at p due to this charge q will be k q by r where r is the distance uh, of that point from the charge so this will be this will be root of 3 plus 3 so k q by root 6 and potential at q will be k q by r again and in this case it is root 6 so it is k q by root 6 can you see uh, both the potentials are same so the potential difference will be 0 so that is the answer next question a body of mass 0 0.08 kilograms with specific heat capacity at constant volume as 0.17 calorie per kilogram per degree celsius is given the increase in the temperature is 5 degrees celsius we have to find the change in internal energy again a straightforward question delta u will be n c v delta t in this particular case right because uh, we have a sol uh, solid body so there will be no work done so whatever heat is being supplied is will go in increasing the internal energy of that body so n so here we can see it is nothing but uh, we have to find the change so m time m c v delta t now what is m in this case m is 0 0.08 c v is 0.17 times 5 and by uh, simplifying this we will get the answer right next a rectangular loop uh, of dimension 2.5 meter and 2 meter is placed in magnetic field of magnitude 4 tesla making an angle 60 degree with the plane okay so we have given a rectangular plane and there is a magnetic field of 4 tesla and it makes an angle of 60 degree with the plane of the loop and the resistance of the loop is 1 1 ohms and we need to find the charge which flows through the loop if we remove this uh, loop from the magnetic field so when we remove this loop then what would happen the flux through this loop will become zero so what is the change in flux it is nothing but the initial flux in the loop so that will be b a cos theta and what is cos theta in this case theta will be 30 degree because we have to find the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field so this is the area vector so b is 4 area is 2.5 times 2 and cos 30 degree so from this we can find the change in flux and the charge which is being flown through the loop in that time will be change in flux divided by the resistance and resistance is given to us again a very simple question next a train is moving with a speed of 12 meters per second in a circular path of path of radius 400 meters uh, and the distance between the rails is 1.5 meter how high the outer rail is with respect to the inner rail to make a successful turn without using friction yeah so this is a question of banking let us see so we have given two rails so i'm showing you the normal view so these are the two rails and this is the train over these two rails right and this is inner inner rail and this is the outer one and this height is say h we have to find this height h and this distance is given to us and this distance is 1.5 meter and it is moving with a speed of 12 meters per second and the radius is 4, 400 meters so what we can do we can draw the free body diagram so this is the normal and there will be a gravitational force mg now normal has two components one will be in the horizontal direction another will be in the vertical direction let us this angle is theta so this angle is again theta so n cos theta will balance the gravitational force and n sin theta will provide centripetal acceleration so n sin theta will be mv square by r and n cos theta will be mg so from here we can say tan theta comes out to be v square by rg and v is given as 12 12 square upon r is uh, radius is given as 400 and g i'm taking it as 10 so we have tan theta so in this right angle triangle 
if this theta is known to us so we can say sin theta will be h by 1.5 so from tan theta we can find sin theta and from there we can find the value of h it's not not that difficult question but obviously they have changed the concept usually we'll talk about the cars or the trucks now here they are talking about the train next uh, is assertion and reasoning uh, or the statements which statement is correct or not correct so in this question statement one is viscosity of a gas is less than the liquid yes this statement is true right viscosity of gas is less than liquid and the second statement, surface tension decreases due to the mixing of insoluble substance. So if you mix insoluble substance in a, in a liquid, it does not change the surface tension. So this one is false, right? So this is the answer. Next, refractive index of the prism is caught A by 2. Find the minimum deviation. Refractive index is what? It is sine del minimum plus A by 2 divided by sine A by 2. So that, that is the formula. And mu is given as cos a by 2 upon sine a by 2. Now this can will get cancelled out. And here I can write this as cot a, cos a by 2. And here we have this. So this can be written as sine pi by 2 plus a by 2. Is it clear? But uh, can you see uh, this angle a by 2, pi by 2 plus, sorry, minus a by 2, right? So if I equate the left hand side and the right hand side, I can say del minimum plus a by 2 will be pi by 2 minus a by 2. So this 2 will get cancelled out and we have del minimum as pi minus 2a. So I hope this question is clear to you. Again, a very basic question. And, I, and this question is very easy. We have covered this question many times. So find the apparent depth if the two immiscible liquids are filled in a vessel. We have given reflective index of both the liquids and height of both the liquids are given to us. So in this case, the apparent depth is 6 by 3 by 5 plus 6 by 8 by 5. And by simplifying this, 6 will, get, uh, will come out. So we And 5 will also come out. So 1 by 3 plus 1 by 8. So this will be 24, 8 plus 3 times 30. So 4 and this will be 5. So we have 11, 55 by 4. So that is the apparent depth in centimeters, which comes out to be 1, 3.75 centimeters. Right? So I hope this question is also clear to you. Next. So find the magnetic field at the midpoint of two infinite wire having the current in opposite direction of 10 ampere. Distance between the wire is 10 centimeter. Very basic question. So two wires and the distance between them is 10 centimeter. One is having a current in the upward direction, other is having current in the downward direction. And we have to find the magnetic field at the midpoint in between these two wires in the same plane. So this distance uh, is 5 cm and the distance from the left wire is again 5 cm. So due to this wire, the magnetic field will be into the plane. And due to this wire, the magnetic field is again into the plane. So both the fields are, get, are adding up. So we can find the field by one wire and multiply that by two, we'll get the answer. So we can say B net will be two times mu naught I upon two pi D. So that is the formula of magnetic field produced by an infinite current carrying wire. So two, uh, this will be uh, two times 10 raised to power minus seven and current is 10 divided by D is which is five into 10 raised to power minus two. So this will be 2. So this comes out to be 8 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 Tesla. So that is the answer. So I have received these questions from my student. And as per these questions, the paper is very easy. So wish you all the best for your attempts.